In this exercise, it's five versus three, and when possession is given away, it becomes a three versus two. So you could see in this first square, it's four on the outside, one blue player in the middle. If the ball is turned over and the red team wins, that group of three red, both of the blue players in yellow play three against two to win the ball back. After four passes, we are allowed, the blue team can transfer the ball to the other square. The player on the middle line in blue will turn around, and the player, the center mid in blue, inside the yellow circle, will run to the other square. Two of the red players will run to the other square as the ball is transferred, and it becomes a five versus three in the other square. You don't have to transition the ball after four passes, but you can transition the ball after four passes. You could look at this as a positional exercise as well with the center mid, and you could say center back, two outside backs, and another center mid or striker in the middle. And here we are live. It is five versus three in that four in, in that far grid. Ball is given away. It becomes three against two now. The two grays. Ball goes back, so it's five versus three again. After they complete four passes, they're free to send it to the other grid. You can see the, the red team actually won the ball here. So now it's back to five against three again. And now we're going to change the exercise up. After the red team wins the ball, they immediately can score on the outside goals. They just automatically look to, to shoot it in the outside goal. If they need to make a pass or two to get a clear shot, they can do that, but they look to shoot immediately when they win possession. Again, the blue team is the same rules. They look to keep it for four, transfer it to the other grid. And here we are, five against three. And the ball's transferred. After four passes, transferred to the other grid. And they'll try to keep that pattern. Remember, if red wins the ball, They'll intercept. Here he passes it to another red who should finish right there on one of those two goals. Another example here, gray has the ball, they lose the ball, red immediately finishes. So as you can see, you can put in all sorts of variations and progressions to this exercise. Um, you could have two people press, you could have three people press, you could take away the four passes, they could transfer it after six passes, after three passes, it, you name it, you could play one touch, um, whatever you want to do, I just kind of gave you the, the structure of the exercise. This would be a medium area possession exercise that fits into my methodology. It starts with small area possession, medium area possession, and then large area possession exercises. Those are the first three areas of the methodology.